yeah, dude, I can't fix everything. Like, I was like, bro, I went to a protest the other day. Like, I don't know if you saw, like, my post. I went to a protest, like, because I never was a protest guy. Like, I never liked going to protest. Yeah. And I, I, went, I went because after, like, the George Floyd situation, I was like, dude, like, I, I was just really angry. Mm-hmm. But I was like, dude, like, the problem that I'm feeling with, right, this, with this George Floyd situation is, is like, yo, how did this nigga feel so comfortable? Like, like, you can't even say the bullshit about it was fear no more. Like, that bullshit, like, that, like, we knew that excuse was bullshit, but, like, that just proved it. Like, that was like, oh, oh, you're definitely not scared of us, bro, because you definitely was just on this nigga's neck just now. So, that's cap, you know? We knew that was cap, but now it's, like, confirmed cap. You are definitely weren't scared of us. So, this man is on his man's neck for eight minutes and 42 seconds. I'm like, shit. Like, I see cop roll by. I'm like, fuck. Like, this nigga could dead ass just be on my neck. And that's what it is. It's like, it's not that all cops are bad. Mm-hmm. It's that I don't know which ones are good or bad. I don't know which ones are good or bad. That's the problem. Because it just seems like all y'all motherfuckers is wallet, And none of y'all motherfuckers want to air nobody out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, none of you guys want to air each other out. So it's like, all right, let me use an example that I use for myself because it helps me, it helps me understand the, the police situation. Because police, police and gangs are the same shit. Like, they're really the same shit. Police, like, I've thought about gangs and I've thought about police because I, I live in the hood. Like, I'm from East Flavish. So I look at the police and I look at the gangs. I'm like, I have the same shit. It's just the gangs are sanctioned by the government. Like, the, 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 the police are sanctioned by the government. That's the only difference between gangs and police. And it's like, the gang that the police is on is, is you know, has roots in the KKK. But, you know, you know, the, the, the star, the sheriff shit, that's yeah. like, like the slave, the slave, uh, slave catcher. So it's like, you know, that's their gang. That's their shit. That's their set, right? So it's like, but they set it up in a way that, like, you know, obviously black people are in it now, but it's still kind of racist because it just comes from those roots. Like, it don't matter what you do. But the idea, the premise of the police is good. That, well, they, what they try to make us believe is it's good. Like, you know, they're trying to protect and serve and help us all and all that shit. Obviously, not doing a fucking great job at it. That's the problem. Problem isn't that the police, like, the idea of police are, is bad. It's like the fucking police are the problem. Like, they're not doing a good job at upholding that shit. But the niggas is the same shit. It's the gangs. Like, they on some gang shit. Like, we do not snitch on each other. We do not say shit about each other. Whatever we do, whatever happened, we don't say shit. Like, you know, whatever happened is whatever happened. That shit happened, we're not snitching. All right. But all of us are going to look back. Fuck it. Because it is what it is. You got to do what the fuck we got to do. Fuck y'all niggas. Fuck these niggas. These niggas don't know what the fuck is going on. So it's like, oh, shit. I understand the police. Because I know niggas in the hood just like that. Like, even if they man do some wild shit, they cannot do shit. Like, nigga, like say a nigga's about to get killed because, you know, the, like the wrong, the wrong, you know, like his fucking boy is like blood or some shit. Like, I'm blood and my boy blood, but my boy blood and he a wild one, right? So it's like, he ended up doing some stupid shit. I tried to stop him. I can't stop him because if I stop him, then it's like, it's me against him. Like, so it's like, oh, am I, am I like folding on the set? Like, I got to be back my mans no matter what I do. So it's like, all right, he do some stupid shit. He get killed. He kills somebody. And it's like, I can't say shit about that because that's my set. That's my game. Like that's, even though he's a fucking idiot, I can't say shit. Because if he, if I say shit about him, we all, all our ass is in trouble because I'm there. I'm implicit. I'm complicit because I was there. You feel me? You know, he gets sent to jail. I don't want to send that nigga to jail because that's my homie. He got kids and shit. Like he got a, he got a life and shit. Like I can't send my homie to jail just off, off of the strength that he did something fucked up. So it's like, oh. So y'all the same. It's just y'all on different sides. That's it. It's just the gangs is the criminals and the police is the government. But y'all the same shit. Y'all do the same shit. Y'all use the same weapons, the same tactics, fear, violence. Y'all do illegal shit and y'all don't go fuck what nobody say about that shit. Even if it's right or wrong, right? Y'all the same shit. There's good cops, there's bad cops, right? There's good gang members and there's bad gang members. The problem is with the gang members is you don't know the difference. That's the same shit with the police. It's like, you don't know the difference. Why am I comfortable around gang members? Because I know the difference. Because I'm around these niggas. So I know like, oh, these, uh, these is real gangsters. But these niggas is not to be fucked with. Because they might be like, this nigga's just loud because he, he like talking shit. So I'm not going to take him seriously. Or like, oh, he's, he's wild. He be pulling his gun out because he on some stupid shit. I'm going to just stay away from that nigga. There's no way to do that. It's, I know that because I've been around gang members. 
but I don't know how to do that for the police. I don't know who the good cops are. So it's like, I see the police, I get fucking nervous. I'm fucking nervous because, you know, my nigga, I just seen a nigga just get his fucking neck snapped on, step like, knee on. Like, I just seen this nigga with a knee on his neck, you know? I just seen a nigga get shot because he had a BB gun, you feel me? I seen a nigga get shot with his hands on the wheel because he was, he was fidgeting too much after he got asked to grab his goddamn wallet. I seen that shit on the fucking news. I'm like, oh shit, these niggas is wildin'. These fucking cops is bugging. And it's like, that nigga pull up on me. I'm fidgeting. I'm scared. He see me fidgeting and scared. He assume I got some shit in the car because I'm fidgeting and scared. Not knowing that I just seen a whole bunch of niggas just get shot. By you niggas. I'm just watching this shit all day. And you think I'm, I'm suspicious because I'm fidgeting. Come on, son. Now, some cops understand that shit. They try to calm you down. I've had good cops do shit like that. And I've had cops that are just like, yo, man, like, I understand, but I need to let you know that that's a warning. I've gotten warnings from cops. Real shit. Like, I've gotten stopped for some shit, and they need to be like, yo, I'm going to give you this warning. But it's just I don't know who's who. Like, I don't know who's who. And then I went to that protest, right? So I'm mad about all that. I'm mad. That whole thing, I'm mad about. Because I'm like, bro, I don't like that. Like, then I go to the protest, and I'm like looking at these fucking protesters. And bro, them niggas is antagonizing the police. Like, I'm not going to hold you. If you, if you 10 deep, bro. Let me ask you a question, Z. You 10 deep, bro. It's you and 10 and, and, and nine of your other mans, bro. You feel me? The only thing that's keeping these niggas from fucking clawing at your neck right now is the fact that you got this Vicky at your side. All these motherfuckers, if they, if they, if you, if you put your gun down, you are not sure if these motherfuckers is gonna stay rational. Cause it's just like, you know, these motherfuckers is throwing slurs at you, niggas is calling you pigs, niggas is calling you all type of shit. Niggas is saying, I don't like his eyes, the way his eyes look, I don't like him. And you ain't do nothing wrong. You just scared because a fucking mass of 500 niggas is mad at you for some shit you didn't do. I'm clutching my fucking gun. Because that's what's keeping y'all niggas awake. Is this blicky on my side. So I, I'm looking at this cop, right? I'm in the front of the crowd. I'm looking at this cop. I can see in his eyes he afraid. This, 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 this girl over here, she's screaming and shit. These niggas is out here screaming. I'm looking at him quiet. I'm like, yo, bro. I'm looking at his eyes. I'm just like, bro, this nigga is not angry at me. This nigga is afraid. Because he might get fucked up and might accidentally have to do some shit that he may not want to do because some other nigga did some dumb shit and some other nigga was actually racist. And I got to keep my gun to my side for my protection because I don't know what these niggas is going to do. And I'm like, bro, bro, I know niggas in the hood that feel the same exact way. But it's just the odds is different. Like the, it's the other side of the ticket. So I'm like, yo, y'all really insane. Because, yo, like the police try to say that they're good, right? We know that the Bloods and the Crips wasn't starting on some bad shit. It was some good shit they wanted to do. They wanted to help the fucking community. It was a, it was a fucking community-based help group, the Crips and the Bloods. Offset of the Panthers. Yeah, bro. Oh, exactly. We, the Crips and the Bloods are the offset of the goddamn Black Panthers. They was on some good shit. They just got fucked up along the way. Because that's what happens when niggas and they shit, with people and they shit. Not niggas and black people, but I, I'm, let, me be, let me be much more like specific. Human, humans, when they, say, when they have some good shit, they tend to fuck it up. That's what we do. It's like, it's in our fucking nature, bro. We fuck shit up. But it's like, you know, we also can make shit better. That's another thing we could do. We, 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 we blessed to have both sides of that shit. We can fuck shit up terribly, bro. Like, come on. We can see it in history, but like you said, bro, we can take the worst shit going on and make some good shit out of there. Like we will take the worst, like look at black people. That's what we did, bro. You took the worst of humanity. And like you just fucking prospered, flourished. Let's be grateful for what we have, bro. We're doing a great job. Black people doing a great fucking job. Yeah. 
Black people doing a great fucking job. I don't want nobody telling shit about we oppressed. Like, we doing a great fucking job for whatever the fuck is going on. Doing a great fucking job. We can do better if we just stop giving a fuck about these niggas. Look at what, look at the sauce we got. Look at this drip. Fuck what they got going on, B. But I, I understand the blood. I understand both sides. Like that being at that protest, I said, "Oh shit!" So it's hatred on both sides too. Because I hate them because of this shit. They hate me because of this. 